We do want to turn to our southern border right now. A Mexican trucker suspected of a gruesome murder of a woman beating her to death before throwing her body onto a highway is in custody tonight. Thanks to teamwork between U.S. Border Patrol and Mexican authorities. And he's nation correspondent Jorge Ventura live for us from San Antonio, Texas with this. Jorge, what are we learning about this case? Well, Natasha, in a dramatic cross-border operation with Mexican authorities as well as U.S. officials, they have captured a 45-year-old Mexican truck driver who is accused of beating a woman to death. The suspect is now back in Mexico facing serious charges. It was a months-long manhunt for the suspect. But on June 30th, Alfred N. was arrested in Arizona. He's a 45-year-old truck driver. He is wanted for a December 6th murder of a woman named Amanda N. described as his partner in Sonora, Mexico. Police say that the crime was a gender-based violence known as femicide in Mexico. The arrest does mark coordinated effort between the U.S. and Mexican authorities. And according to the Sonora Attorney General's office, the tragic events unfolded last December when Alfredo was driving a tractor trailer. The victim was riding along him when she was allegedly attacked by him with a blunt object. The blow to her skull caused severe traumatic injuries leading to her death. After the attack, the suspect reportedly abandoned a man's body on the side of the Mexico Federal Highway 15 road. He then fled the scene, crossing into the United States in an attempt to evade capture. Mexican authorities sought assistance from U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Using shared intelligence and coordinated efforts, authorities tracked Alfredo back to Arizona, and on June 30th, he was apprehended by U.S. authorities. The suspect was handed over to Mexican authorities at the port of entry in Nogales, Arizona, and transported to a Mexican prison. At this time, the suspect is facing between 30 and 70 years in prison in Mexico. But the question still remains, Natasha, is how did Alfredo, back in December, cross in to the United States? Yeah, that is the question. Jorge Ventura, live in San Antonio, Texas, with that. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.